cleaning equipment and materials continued. Oh, at this rate, I doubt if the cleaning will ever happen today. Don't worry. First things first. Besides, tomorrow is yet another day. Study this dustpan. What about it? It's metallic. Good observation. Others are made of plastic. Dustpans should be strong and able to collect all the loose dirt from the floor. Mm. The edges should be smooth to prevent accidents and damage to the surfaces. I'm all ears. And like any other household items, they need proper care. After use, brush off the dust and store by hanging. Wash every week in hot soapy water. Can't you just bang it to remove the dirt? Uh, that's a very bad habit and should be avoided. Moving on, basins, buckets and karais are used to hold water for cleaning. These items are made of galvanized iron, enamel or plastics. But nowadays, plastic containers are the most commonly used because they are light, inexpensive easy to clean and do not rust. But break easily, unlike galvanized iron and enamel type. True indeed. But no matter the choice, these containers must be washed in hot soapy water and stored away from dust after use. And as common sense dictates, avoid drying plastic containers in the sun, knocking them over and using strong brushes to clean them. Keep going. Floor clothes are used for cleaning and polishing the floor. Choose ones that are made of thick and absorbent materials. After use, wash them with soapy water, rinse dry, and store appropriately. Are they any different from dusters? Yep. Dusters are for wiping dust from surfaces. They should be made of fabric that is able to remove and hold dust. They also need care and maintenance. By washing thoroughly in warm soapy water, rinsing in warm then cold water, drying and storing in a dry cool place. Great! Now, mops are of various types. They can be wet or dry depending on the use. There are those for dusting floors, furniture, polished surfaces or tiled floors. Just make sure they are made of twisted cotton yarn and are convenient to wash. How? The head of the mop should be removable for easy cleaning. Wet mops are used together with mop buckets when cleaning the floor. Dry mops on the other hand are used for shining polished floors. All mops should be washed well, dried and stored properly after use. Oh, have we exhausted them? Just a few more. Sponges and cleaning clothes are used for cleaning in the kitchen as well as floors. They should be made of highly absorbent and strong material. After use, wash in soapy water, rinse and squeeze and dry thoroughly, then store away. Mm -hmm. And finally, the chamois leather. What? Is uh, that also a cleaning item? Of course. It is soft leather made from goat skin. It is used for polishing glass and smooth surfaces. Mm. After use, wash in warm soapy water, rinse and dry in a cool place, then store well. Now, the next item Mom, is there a problem. I thought Camois leather was the last one. All right, we can stop here and make lunch. In the afternoon, I am going to show you how to save a shilling, but not for free. How do you mean? I mean, show me what you've got from the discussion. Could you have asked directly? Oh, anyway, dust pans should be durable and able to collect all the dust. Water containers should be light, inexpensive, and easy to clean. Floor clothes, mops, and sponges should be made of thick and absorbent materials. Dusters should be made of fabric that is able to remove and hold dirt. And finally, chamois leather is used for polishing glass and smooth surfaces. Excellent. Now, go on, take your break and do whatever you like with yourself. 